Hello, this is David from Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. And tonight I'm going to show you how to consolidate your audio files so that you can export them and use them in another program like Logic or GarageBand. Or if you want to just add them to another Pro Tools session or take them to another studio. It's not very complicated. This is only going to take a few minutes. First thing we're going to do is identify where the uh, end point is. So what we'll do is we'll listen to the track. Okay, so there's not a lot of audio out here, but we'll use these as the endpoints right here. So what I'm gonna do is select this track. And this is the take that we're gonna use. Now what I'm gonna do is hold down Shift I'm going to click to the beginning of the track. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can just highlight this track and then move it all over. Or if you've made markers, you can see which marker it is. Take two. And move the cursor back over to the beginning. Hold down Shift and click on the end of the file. Now that we have that done, what we're going to do is put it in keyboard command focus over here. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to move up by hitting P and highlight these tracks above. Now they're not in waveform mode so what I'm going to do is hold down option and put them into waveform. Now we have all these tracks right here highlighted. So what I'm going to do is hold down shift and the semicolon and that's going to move my selection down. Make sure I get all the audio tracks. And now I'm going to hit shift option three. Now it did name some of these tracks dash 01, dash 03, dash 03. So what I'm going to do is go through and Double click on these tracks. And let's name it just 03. Let's take off these dashes. So they'll all be 03. This is going to help us recognize and identify them. So as I go through, just double click on each one and rename them. Okay, now they're all labeled whatever they were in the original recording, dash or underscore 03. So what I'm going to do now is select them all again. So I select one of the tracks just by clicking on it. Just click on the track. Usually the bottom or the top one. This will make it easy. Hold down shift and then P or semicolon to move your selection up. Now that I've got all the tracks, they're all exactly the same length, regardless of where they start or stop. I'm going to hit Shift Command K. This is going to export the files for me so they don't have to bounce them. I'm going to make sure that they're WAV files, multiple mono. So don't do interleave to multiple mono. And we're going to do these retract at 32 bit at 44.1. Now we're going to choose a new file for them, new folder. So what I'm going to do is put them into the bands folder here. And I'm going to create a new folder, which is going to be elevators wave files. Click open. And it should say right here the path of where the files are going to go and hit export. It's going to export each file. And now we can check it. So I'm going to save and close. Let's go over to the clients folder. And here they are. Now the overheads were split left and right. You can put those on a stereo track if you want when you import them. So let me show you how to do that. 
Let's create a new session. Wave, 32-bit, 44.1. And I'm going to call this 3mix. I'm going to put it in this wave files folder just so it's easy to find. Now, all you have to do is go over to your finder, highlight everything. You can hit Command to unselect certain things. And then if you have this tracks pane open, click the files, drag them in, drop them right there. They're all going to load up alphabetically, numbers by letters. You can rearrange your tracks and put them together any way you want, but they'll all be in time and lined up. That's an easy way to save and export your files. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Again, this is David from Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. Thanks for watching.